<laughs> yeah, I didn't hear that story, so...
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. What is going on, our people, our tribe? Can I say tribe? Is tribe canceled yet? No, you can say whatever you want on YouTube-ish. Yeah, no, but like I'm just just saying like in in general. general. Yeah, is tribe canceled yet? I think so, because I called my assistant chief the other day, and I was like, I'm allowed to still say chief. Oh, you can't say say chief anymore? You can't say chief, Nick. But there's like still chief like sports teams. There is. There's a lot. The the Indians were canceled. The Indians were canceled. (laughs) Chiefs are still around. Uh, Braves. I don't think that's racist. Uh, that's pretty. Like it sounds good. They're brave. Yeah. Um, Redskins. Right. Now. Uh, no, they're gone. They're gone. Yep. I was hoping they would double down and like rename it to like the Yellow Skins or something. Like, like you know what I mean? Like we're changing this with the, dude with that owner. Tell me that wouldn't have like been. You know what I mean? That like that was could have been. Oh, Dan Schneider. Yeah, it could have been. Didn't he get voted off the island? Like, isn't he like, or did they like, no, we don't want you anymore? Um, I don't know. I love when these owners are so racist that I have no idea how you can own something and be booted off of your own ownership of that. But it's happened. Right? It's happened with Donald Sterling over in L.A. and I think with Dan Snyder. I think I think Dan Snyder's gone because you, you just be, you can only be so racist before you get uh, stripped of your things, which is yeah, actually like kind of ironic. The directors votes them out. Yeah, kind of ironic. Yeah. Hey guys, don't forget to like the uh, the stream. Hopefully yeah, please Chris set up oh, some yeah. commercials. I, I, I don't know. I click. Right. I click commercials. Clearly, click commercials. we're all independently wealthy. We don't need commercial money. Listen, I'll Venmo you six cents. <laughs> no, you'll Venmo me, a, Venmo me a dollar six cents. We'll oh make six cents without God. the commercials. We're missing out on a dollar, sir. Um, I I do commercials every time on a thing. I don't know. You changed your mm. banner? I did. You, you killed off the old one. Good, good. I good. think, oh, I got to save changes for it to oh. hey, So how are we all doing tonight in the chat? How are we all doing? How are we all doing? Um, don't answer that. I don't really care. I just wanted to uh, segue. Um, so if you're not doing good, you're going to be doing good because we have a huge announcement coming up uh, in between the, He's we don't, you know, we don't really, too. yeah, we don't really have too. breaks, but we're going to have a break. Well, we're going to have a break because we transitioned from YouTube to uh, Discord. Correct. So for our Patreon and, and TikTok uh, members slash subscribers only, uh, you'll be able to see a, uh, one of my favorite videos I think I've ever made, but, <laughs> but one of my favorite announcements I think that we have made in a long time. Yeah, yeah it's so a yeah, it's a it's a good one, and it uh, changes it changes the um, the trajectory of our podcast probably forever. Yeah, or at least until I get Spo- bored. Yeah. Spoiler alert: I'm straight. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to ruin the illusion. Oh shit! Sorry. <laughs> Uh, I mean, Scott, is he allowed to say that? <laughs> the YouTube is fine. You can say whatever you want <coughs> on the YouTube. <coughs> so uh, this is this is my flu game because I'm on steroids uh, tonight. Um, it's affecting my performance because I can't drink Scott, alcohol and I haven't. Scott, I sleep. think we need we need you, Scott, to make a list of what we can and can't say on on every platform, so that we know. Yeah, we just have to be I, mutes. Really oh, do. we can't say mutes. Clearly. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, Clearly we're going to get kicked off somewhere. Yeah. Um, well, now TikTok, it's it's a little like we cannot if if we're going to drink, which we shouldn't. But if we're going to drink it, ha- it can't be like a, on a branded. Like it can't, can't be a bottle of Bud Light or a can of Bud Light yeah. it can't be um, White Claw. Or truly, it's got to be like in a cup. So can do like the old fashioned like tailgate party of like. Yeah. Like, solo solo cup. Cup. Yep, exactly. Um, no smoke, so no vape, no um, cigarette smoke, no burning sage, no blood jobs, stuff like that. Yep, summer's over, uh, Ryan. Summer's over. Someone's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. We're 
Just talk That's about the that. announcement. That's the announcement. You know what sucks, Scott? Um, I got to be careful, though. You never know who's watching. I know, Jack and Jane. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, so I'm not good at spelling the word available. And Neither am I. Yeah, well, I know that because you didn't find the mistake that I made in the banner that you just put up. Available is spelled wrong. And I forgot to spell, I forgot to spell check it because Photoshop doesn't have spell check, unfortunately. Um, AVA. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It looks good. Can you send me a new one? Yeah, I will. Not right now, though. No, no. Remove. Are you sure you want to remove? Control. No, don't remove it. It's just uh, one letter. It looks it's good. It's the whole banner. No, it looks good. I'll just edit no, it. it's gone now. It's what is gone. it? What are, you gonna put? What, are, what are you putting back up there? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, put the Super Target know. banner. Apparently, your Super Target was your banner before. There we go. Oh, man. I was going through your old pictures, Scott, on Facebook. Oh, stop. Oh, my gosh. Like, I'm talking, like, uh, 2011. Okay. Yeah. They were taken on, like, a Motorola Razor. So, like, the the picture (laughs) picture is, like, this big. But you can... But my favorite thing about it is you captioned every single photo. So, yeah. So, it... Like, I, mean, I just <laughs> so here's a selfie of you. I'm gonna put it on the screen for the stream to see. Here's a selfie of Scott. Caption me exclamation point exclamation point exclamation <laughs> point. I'm gonna uh I, I'm gonna oh uh, this oh, one's my no likes or com- this one's my no likes or comments Nothing. on it. This one's my favorite. The caption is just hey. <laughs> <laughs> that was right around the time that I had my Twitter or that I started my Twitter account too. Oh. Um, hey guys, don't forget to uh, like the <laughs> like the what you're watching. Here's one of you dancing, getting my groove on. Oh, I like this one too. You can't see because it's so small. It says my first fish. <laughs> 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 but every single picture. Here's you of you on a boat driving the boat. Is that the? <laughs> oh yeah, I went fishing. Yeah, I went fishing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate you. Yeah, it was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jaws Roberts is back. Jaws! Jaws. All right. You guys ready? Y'all should do professional headshots. Well, I agree. It would be kind of uh, hard for, to do. Why? Because we live. Because we, we don't live near each other. No, we find something and we Photoshop it all together. Oh. Yeah. Use your AI. I, I want to wear a or turtle neck for mine. <laughs> I think they should like, like be awkward like family photos. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Turtle neck, like, tucked into neck. some jeans. Yeah, like yes. your New Balance. Sears, yeah, yeah, Sears portrait. Dad like, shoes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a really good idea. <laughs> All right, I want to do Next a. I want to do. I want to do a maternity shoot with Scott. <laughs> okay, because he's got a belly, or well, we could trade off. Hmm. <laughs> Hold on one second. I gotta. I mean, this 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 grow room that I've been sitting in all day, um, it keeps like showing that I'm not a gifter, even though I am. All right, so everybody in the chats, um, and everybody else besides Scott, Scott, we are here today to have an intervention. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I easily spent a hundred bucks today on TikTok. Oh my god! All right, three, two, one. That's right. You're listening to the No New Friends podcast, the podcast for adults who love to No, No. OK, three, two, one. That's right. You're listening to the No New Friends podcast voted number one by our friends and family and number three by the Orlando Weekly Readers poll. We are the podcast for adults who love to laugh at adulting and the podcast where everything unfolds. You can connect with us. All of our social media links, all of our links are on our website, nonewfriendspodcast.com. Follow us on the TikTok where we go live at uh, the Disney parks or Orlando theme parks every Wednesday at about 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can also join our clubhouse. Become a friend with benefits. That's our Patreon. For as low as $2 a month, you can uh, watch us record the entire episode live. You get all the news that's breaking first. And we've got some big news today we do. that only our Patreon members are going to hear early. You're going to see it at the beginning, but... Or you're going to hear it on Sunday, but they'll they'll already know. Anyway, my name is Scott. I'm the host. With me, as always, my amazing cast of characters, the scumbag reselling hoarder himself, Chris. I'm sorry for talking before you introduced me, Mr. Scott. 
the Jewish American princess, Sarah. Hello. Our emotional support gay, Nick. It's a me, I'm a gay. And our producer, Alex. So um, I've, th this is weird. Um, for three weeks in a row, we will have been talking about Valentine's Day because I do have something <laughs> I need to tell you guys about. It's the month of love. Day. It's the month that's okay. Well, it's almost the month of divorce. Oh. But, um, Can you wait and stop so, for the vacation? I know, man. <laughs> Please. We're so close, Nick. We're so yeah. close. I want that commission. So <laughs> <laughs> Don't care about this. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks <buddy. laughs> so if, if you remember last week, I told you that um, my wife said we don't have to gift for yeah. our anniversary or mm -hmm. Valentine's Day. And I was bragging. I was like, ah, what a win. This is great. Absolutely. Um, you know, yeah, because we've got this big vacation coming up. So that was um, that was the thing. I thought that, uh, it, but it, you, Chris, you were right. It was a trap. It always is. It was. Yep, it was definitely a trap. So I had a, a magical day with Lewis, Sarah, and Darren at Hollywood Studios, uh, where we streamed on on the TikTok. Um, had a lot of fun. And th that was you stream on say. TikTok. Once in a while, <laughs> not often though. I no, watch I mean, it. Just, yeah. You know, every day. Um, so then I get home, Chris, and on the table is a Valentine's bag oh, from Rachel gosh. to me. And I, I stopped. I stood in my tracks and stopped. And I said, I thought we weren't doing anything. I literally don't have anything. I said, I've got stuff for you for then, Friday, our anniversary, but I don't have anything uh, right now. I was like, I remember you telling us that you had something, but. For our anniversary. Oh, yeah, I did real good for our anniversary. Not for Valentine's Day. Didn't get anything. Nothing. Not even a card. Not even a homemade card. Not even in a homemade envelope. <coughs> nothing. Nothing. <laughs> so what do I do? How do I get out of this situation? Because I, I'm screwed, right? There's zero time. The final buzzer has sounded. The game is now over. There's nothing I can do. I do what any man does to get out of trouble. I start crying. Oh. I start the waterworks. Oh. And I'm oh. like, oh, my God, I'm such a bad husband. And she immediately takes the bag off the table. And she goes, no, I'm sorry. This is for your, for our anniversary. Uh, and, like, runs into the other room and puts it away. Wow. So as soon as she turns, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm in tears. And I'm just... Just the big old just look at, yeah, just, just the Jim Halpert just looking at the camera, smiling. Exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> but this is uh, life hack. You want to get out out of trouble with your wife? Just start crying. That's uh, I'm writing that down. I think that'll happen. Uh, do you think that works when uh, with a newborn? Don't write that down, <laughs> <No>. Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Don't write that down. Does not work. What if you have a, what if you have a husband, Scott? Too. This is okay. Here's the thing. Okay. So I've been thinking about this, and I'm like, okay, how does my wife get it? I mean, not that she's ever in trouble, but there there are times when I get a little bit irritated with her, a little bit frustrated. How does she get out of that? She spreads her legs, and then all is forgiven. Sarah, if you do anything that, that screws up, you know, the laundry doesn't get done, or you know, so you do something. Well, because Never. you've been laying on but it watching I Disney But if I were, Plus. right, if. right, 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 but if. but if you know that were to happen, yeah, that's exactly what you have to do. See, so to get out of trouble, the women they they give their men sex. For men to get out of trouble, we cry. Then the argument's over. I'm telling you, mm. do it. It will work. Nick, I think I'm really mad at you right now. I you you were I, you you really offended me earlier. I think yeah. I feel you, like the, I feel like we just fight and then we're like, okay, let's fuck now. Yeah, <laughs> Nick, <laughs> Nick, I'm really angry with you. I'm so angry. Let's get angry together. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> let's just make up already. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, Scott. That's how I got it. Works. Yeah. yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah. That was I was I just don't trying. Know what I, just was, happened, I was just trying to. I was just trying to get some free. Anyway, do we have uh, do we have different methods other than crying to get out of uh, to get out of things when we're in a sticky situation with our significant other? I have so many roses. People think I'm a horticulturist here. <laughs> How many times I'm buying my wife roses? 
Yeah, so flowers flowers are really good. Flowers are good in any situation. Nick, do you like flowers? No. Um, we bought Piper some for Valentine's this, this year, and she absolutely loved them. Ah, uh, okay. Um, so now you like flowers. for that. So now I'm like, now I like them. But, yeah. like, I, get an, I just get annoyed with them because I'm like, they're cute for, like, a day, and then they start dying. And then you're just reminding that it's just dying. Yeah, I know. It's such a waste of money. Alex cut yeah. that. So th- <laughs> w- what, I, what I start doing, what I start doing when Emily is, like, uh, is upset with me um, is I just start doing things that she has no idea how to do. Like, I'll change the furnace air filter, right? Mm. And Or, I'll, or I'll, I'll, I'll get do an oil change on her car or something like that, even if it doesn't need one, right? Even if it doesn't need one. Because she's like, oh, how was I ever going to be able to get this oil change in my car? Uh, I'll take it in the. I'll, I'll take it around the block. I'll like take it down to the office for a little bit, and then I'll just bring it back and say I gave it a tune up, stuff like that. And uh, it's stuff like, wow, like you saved my life. Like this car was gonna break down on me, and you know I just parked it in there and played Angry Birds for a little bit. But um, but you bring it home, and then you know. But uh, yeah, changing the air furnace filter when you have a house, it's totally different because you just start doing these things around the house. Um, you change your light bulb that they can't reach. You oh right. vacuum you vacuum vacuum's a big one, vacuuming you, is like. But when you do it, do you make sure that she's watching? Oh, she, I I we have a Dyson that's relatively quiet, and we have a plug-in vacuum that's really loud. So if she's downstairs, I'm using the plug-in vacuum to make sure she can hear it like rolling over the hardwood floors, <laughs> banging. So she's and then you know yeah yeah of course go on Nick one hundred percent. You know my wife will text me when she's on her way home, and I I've got the Find My Friends app. Mm-hmm. And so I'll see and I'll time out my finishing of the dishes. Oh, yeah. Like I'll make sure that there are two dishes left when she walks in the door. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You, you set you set the motion alert on your ring doorbell to make sure when she pulls up, you can just walk right over, get, you know, right over. You give yourself some time and just start washing that last dish. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I'll, I'll leave one or two dishes just sitting there. I may have done it hours ago, but I got to leave those last two. So she knows that I did it. Yeah. Because to. then, Chris, if I say I did the dishes. Then it's like, oh, you want a parade? Yeah, Yeah. right. You don't get anything in return. They're like, cool. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, okay, Nick, in a... Okay, so if we screw up, we either cry or give roses. Mm -hmm. What do what do what do gay couples do? They just just give high fives. Just a pat on the ass. I mean, we just go straight to the sex. Just straight to it. Just straight to it. Just angry, angry sex, both of you. No, um, I mean for us now, for me and Sean at least. So my two tricks are to go out and pick up Starbucks. He has Starbucks for the next day. Oh. How do you do that? How do you have it for the next day though? We we only do cold like. Um, so ice do. Americanos and stuff. Oh, like okay. Makes we sense. just tell them, like, get an ice Americano, but take out the ice. I see. I see. <laughs> it's a, it's I got gotcha. you. Um, so that's one go to, as well as desserts. We will oh, okay. door dash cake. We've done it multiple times. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but desserts is always the secret to our hearts. Interesting. Okay. Now, Sarah, what, what do you like done? for you if Lewis screws up and what do you do? Yeah, keep it PG-13 though. Right. He brings me to Chili's. <laughs> <laughs> I, I swear. I swear that that's happened more than once. He's like, do you want to go to Chili's? Because he knows I'm going to go and drink a lot of margaritas and we're going to end up at Costco anyway. So it's fine. It works out for both of us. <laughs> but he does do the dishes, which he knows I absolutely hate i will do anything in the house but i hate doing the dishes so he's a good man for that okay what do you do when you're in trouble me in trouble what are you talking about scott (laughs) she's an angel i know i can't uh, if you ever did something wrong sarah first of all i don't think you have it in you but if you ever did i feel like (laughs) you would like burst into flames like i just i i I don't think i just don't think it's possible whoa. whoa Well, we don't talk about me and Flame. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, go God. together. <laughs> oh, oh. I was I'll like, what did I say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I just don't think you no. have it in you. I feel like you're like a good little Amish girl. No, <laughs> like the I, Amish don't I do anything wrong. I have my moments. I have my moments where I am a pain in the ass, truly. But um, I... I have a saint of a husband. I really do. And I just say I'm sorry. And he he's always like, it's okay. I understand. 
Really? That there's nothing. I, I just apologize. But if I have to, I would spread my legs. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I think that's the answer that that's most yeah. accurate. There you go. There you go. Chris, it's funny that you bring up the Amish. So, um, you know, Chris and I have been doing, we, we found kind of our niche on TikTok Live where we go on together and we interview interesting people. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in, in the next segment. But speaking of interesting people, I've never seen Sarah run so fast. We're like, a, we're, we're live at t on, uh, on TikTok at Epcot today, right? And like, she's at a drink cart and I'm like, all the way across the path and she's telling me something i was like i don't, I don't know what you're saying and she runs she's running she's sprinting chris <laughs> and she she whispers in my ear and she goes look it's chris's people <laughs> <laughs> i i was maybe a little bit or a lot intoxicated and i saw the bonnet and i was like yes this is my moment <laughs> So I, I did, I took, I don't know if you noticed Chris, but the picture that I sent you has half of Darren in it. I did so not I have to relook at it. I did not see that, that. Was, that was me trying to like, and I think he actually put his thumb up and everything. Like I was actually taking a picture of him, but no, I was trying to get the, the bonnet behind him. So <laughs> just so I could show you that Jedi is here. <laughs> yeah. We, we've, we've run into it. kind of some interesting things um, while we've been streaming at the park. So last week we were on Star Tours and <laughs> someone came up to us and said, look, we're watching you. And I'm like, OK, that's pretty cool. Um, then we ran into Mary. And then today we met a family uh, at Soren and they were like, oh, can you can you can you put us on the TikTok? I was like, well, sure. I, you know, I try to avoid showing people unless they are OK with it. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we did a whole interview with them at, uh, at Soren. And then we're online for. Um, for the land and i hear is that the new new friends podcast and i'm like oh my god and it was uh famous? it was uh De what's that we're famous now N not well yes Scott because is, right? on yeah. several occasions there are people that i will pass and they're like oh we're watching we're watching so like a little bit famous but the person behind me in the land um uh, he started real laughs with james yawn and miguel cologne uh, his name is devin siebold and he just happened to be in the park and recognized that it was us and uh Thought it was really cool. It That's was, awesome. you know, it was fun. Why would you watch a live stream of Epcot while you're in Epcot? Yeah, That's kind of psychopath understand. move, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. To find Scott. Oh, like, are they trying to find this do. random guy and just be like, who are you? Maybe they're trying to look ahead to see what different lines are like. I don't know. Yeah. Who could, why are we questioning it? If it's only there weird. was an app for that. I mean, there. <laughs> that you didn't have to scroll and watch people's lives and comment and the see comment how long the waits are. <laughs> yeah, if only God. they worked with it. If only these people worked with a travel advisor who could show them the My Disney Experience app shows you exactly how long the wait times are. Okay, this is probably what happens: is there, you know, little Susie or whatever is waiting for you know her dad to get a beer, and she opens up her phone, opens up the TikTok, and is scrolling through, and then sees this live pop up of Epcot. And she's like, oh, I'm at Epcot. And then starts watching. And then the family starts watching. And then it just becomes a thing because it's cool to be in the same place at the same time as someone that is streaming that you think is famous. We're not, FYI. Spoiler so alert. can I be honest? I'd kind of tune you out there because all I focused on was the beginning part of that paragraph where you said, little Susie. And I just noticed that why is why did you go straight towards the little kid, Scott? <laughs> well, like it, it's probably a middle school kid watching the TikTok. Maybe high school. There's been some families. I mean, I, mm, um, yeah. The funniest anyway. joke. The funniest joke you said on stream today was that you uh, said you don't like to like um, put younger people on your stream without consent. <laughs> yes, I did say yeah. that. Yeah, we know like you like to exploit anything for likes. <laughs> Uh, you're not wrong. I, <laughs> we, we drank a lot of, uh, the gross sodas from club cool just for reactions. And that was, uh, one of our peak moments. Uh, definitely viewers shot up a little bit during that, uh, during that time. I, uh, before we were, I, I, I sense the transition to the end of segment one here. And, uh, before Alex we got that, there is no segment one. I know. I just feel bad before our big announcement. Yeah. 
So before our big announcement, I just kind of wanted to um, uh, kind of tell everyone how something that we did on the podcast kind of came full circle to me the other day. Okay. So uh, I've been training one of my uh, now drivers, he passed, congratulations to him, uh, to become a CDL driver. And we, I take him to the testing site, he passed the test, we come back, um, <laughs> we come back to my office, and I'm printing out all this paperwork for him to go to the DMV to get his license. And it's a, it's a big packet of stuff, it's a big packet of stuff, a lot of, like, three, four, five different pieces of paper with his little license and with his little permit and stuff like that, so it's little stuff too. So, so I'll be right back. Let me go grab you uh, something to put this in. So I go into my office and I'm going through other drawers, and I'll be damned, no envelope. Uh -oh. But I look to my left, and there's a piece of printer paper there. <laughs> so, uh, so I channeled my inner uh, Alex's friend Gary, brother-in-law Gary, and I I had to make an envelope. I uh, nice. I, I, I I did a I did a handmade mm. envelope. I. Uh, Actually, Alex did send us a picture of his handmade envelope. It wasn't that impressive. Like, I really thought it would look like a real envelope. It just looked like a folded piece of paper. <laughs> like, it was not that great. Not mine, like rounded corners on No. It. I put a little glue stick on mine and make it like I licked the thing and everything and it, like, to enclose it. Mine looked official. Mine looked like USPS official. But anyway, <laughs> thank you, Alex, for the inspiration. <laughs> Anyway, okay, we've got a big announcement coming up right now, okay? And if you're listening to this, our Patreon members already know this announcement because we showed them a promo video. You're just going to hear my voice tell you what it is. End segment one. You said there's no segment one, bitch. Yeah, there is no segment one. Well, me saying <laughs> segment one gets cut out. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, I'm going to give you a, a few minutes to get over to uh, Discord because you're not going to want to miss this announcement. Thank you so much for joining us on here. And it looks like all of you on here are already Patreon members, so uh, you'll have no problem we'll see ya. heading over there. So we'll see yeah. you in a second. Okay, bye.